What's up guys, it's John. Hope everybody's doing all right. I know the weather's kind of crazy right now. Winter's ending, spring's about to begin, and the weather's just all over the place. Some days it's cold, some days it's sunny, some days it's all wet and rainy. Today, I have a styling video. I'm gonna style some fits for all this type of weather, and I'm really excited for today's video, not just because it's gonna feature some designer, vintage designer, and some thrifted stuff that I picked up over the past few weeks, but also because I'm trying out a new video format and I would appreciate your feedback in the comment section down below. I wanna know how I can tweak it and make it better and turn this into a weekly series. That's my goal. But before I begin, I just wanna say I hope everybody's doing okay. I know the world's kinda of crazy right now, but I hope everybody's just home safe and happy. But yeah, let's have some fun, enjoy your time, and let's get into it. Okay guys, for the first outfit, let's have some fun with this Sanjeev piece and style of fit for these warm spring days. This is his blood orange sweatshirt. Obviously, it's cropped in the body with elongated sleeves. It's boxy, it's wide, so I want to layer with a tee that had that same flowiness, and the one I had on fit the bill. For the pants, I chose these vintage Dolce Cargos. I love the details on these, the pocket placement, the strap that each pocket has. Now for footwear, I put on my LV trainers, RIP to Virgil. It's a very street-esque fit, and I think these complement the rest of the fit so well. Now to spice it up, I put on these vintage Chanel sunglasses, which I love the color and shape of, and this YSL scarf. Babushka boys. The color of the scarf contrasts the sweatshirt so nicely. I love the shade of blue. And to top it off, I finished it with this trucker. The whole fit made me feel like I was in a music video. I had the music blasting while recording. I was feeling myself. I was vibing. And yeah, I love how this fit turned out. Now for outfit number two, I was excited to style this vintage Escada coat. It's a beautiful baby blue color that's obviously perfect for the spring. It's actually a woman's coat. It just fits me so nicely. I wanted to keep the pastel color palette going on, so underneath I have this cream Uniqlo hoodie. It's a little boxy and I love how it fits. For the pants, I wanted to have this big flow, so I chose these white shock mousse trousers. They're so tight at the waist, but I love how wide they are everywhere else. For the feet, I went with my Guidis, man. These boots are just amazing, nothing else to say. And I just love how these trousers just like swallow the boot it's kind of funny to complete the fit though i chose this vintage product crossbody the baby blue color matches the coat perfectly and the cream leather straps complement the hoodie i only kept the hat on because i'm growing my hair out it's at that weird phase so i just went with it and this is a cool fit i'd wear like grocery shopping or out to dinner all right now let's go with a fit that's more for the cold a comfy fit with some layers the base of this outfit is going to be this oversized fleece from Abercrombie and my classic cold busted sweats. Over top, I put on this London Fog Windbreaker. I actually thrifted this for $5. It was brand new with tags. It retail for $125. Pretty crazy fine. On top of that, we're going to go with this pink suede puffer. I cinched in the waist to give it kind of like a more at the waist cropped look. I love how it sits atop the oversized windbreaker. On the toes, I went with my Balenci tracks. These will forever be in my rotation. They are heavy as fuck though, but it's worth it. And to finish it off, I put on this navy blue scarf and these vintage Prada sunglasses. These are one of my favorite sunglasses. Like the shape is just crazy. Only thing I'm missing, like I wish I had, is like a super puffy or fluffy bag to complete the fit. Overall, I'm in love with how the colors work together. Like the whole fit just flows super well. Let me know what you guys think or what you would change. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, make sure to leave a like. That way the video can get out there, the channel can grow, and we can beat this algorithm together. But also I wanna say thank you to Samia and Saucy Vault. She runs an online designer boutique and she let me borrow all the items for this video. So cool of her. No, this isn't an ad. She doesn't even know I'm mentioning it like in this video. I actually work for them. I do their advertisement and marketing and it was just really cool of them to have let me borrow the items for the styling of this video. So yeah, if you're into vintage designer, she has some really cool and rare items. Link in the description down below. Make sure to check them out because they have a lot of cool stuff for men, women, as well as some unisex options. And yeah, the brand is really growing and I'm so excited to take it to the future. Uh, but yeah, let's get back into the video. All right, the sun has started to come out more. Let's style another spring fit. Now for pants, I switched into these light brown flowy trousers. Again, very lightweight and loose, perfect for the warm weather. For this one, I did switch into the Supreme Chrome logo tee. And is it spring if I don't bring out the J's? Had to go with the all whites. Next, to accessorize, I took inspo from the previous spring fit and opted for another scarf, this time vintage Dior with a floral pattern and the same product sunglasses from the previous fit. And on top, I got the Jacques Mousse bucket hat with the silver logo to match the jewelry and the sunglasses. But I had to complete the fit with this faded black polo jacket I thrifted, you know, cause it also gets a little windy and rainy in the spring. But yeah, this fit also had me vibing. I felt like Rocky in the scarf, I'm just missing my grill. But yeah, another cool fit for the spring. Okay, now for this fit, I'm gonna combine two of the previous fits and create a new one. Of course, I had to bring back the Sanjeev sweatshirt. It's just so good. 
I put on these sweats in a soft grayish purple color. And next, I had to bring back the tracks, an easy choice. For sunglasses, I went with these vintage Dior in this off-white color. I love sunglasses with cool shapes. I feel they add to the aesthetic of the fit. We're still missing a layer though, and what color will go great with this orange? My baby blue has got a coat, duh, such a perfect combo. Overall, this is a cool easy fit for the cooler days. Nothing too crazy, but the color palette of this fit is very cohesive, as well as the styles of the pieces themselves. The soft color of the sweats helps blend the tones of orange and blues, and the sunglasses are just fucking cool. Oh yeah, and the cream yellow trucker, my hair was a mess, but also I feel like it blended well with the other colors of the fit. Overall, I really like it. Let me know what you guys think. Okay guys, those were all the outfits and I wanna say thank you for your feedback. Again, this is a video style that I wanna develop, make it better, cause it's gonna be a weekly series from me. Styling is something I enjoy and I just wanna to continue to bring it to my YouTube channel. So again, thank you guys. Make sure to check me out on all my socials. I'm growing on TikTok. I wanna grow my IG. Everything's in the description down below. And again, thank you to Saucy Vault. Uh, but yeah, see you guys in a few days.